Uganda, East Africa, right on Lake Victoria. Here, Selecta One and partner company Wagagai Limited cultivate countless mother plants for the production of cuttings. They go all over the world. 2,100 people from the area are employed here. 70% of them are women. Why Africa? Production costs are low and the tropical climate is ideal to grow plants. The main product of Selecta One here in Uganda are Christmas star cuttings, around 55 million a year. With more than 50 varieties, Selecta One is one of the biggest producers worldwide. The cuttings are mainly exported to Europe and then grown to finished pot plants. After being fair trade certified in 2016, just less than 2% of the 55 million Christmas star cuttings were sold as fair trade last season. That is what we want to change and directly improve our workers' incomes. And what do the young men and women earn so far? We have a set of structure and uh, the lowest, lowest, the lowest we have, we have 13 scales from the junior scale level, which is 135,000, but that's the lowest. But if you look at other sectors, tea, the construction, all these kind of things, we are on, on average. It would like to pay more, definitely, because the cost of living definitely goes up. Housing, education, health and food, those four are really very critical. Richard, for example, earns about 70 euros a month as a well-trained supervisor. Our salary is not so satisfied, but it helps, it pushes us to some level. Prices outside keeps on arising day after day. So Richard also can afford just the most essential. I would rather also want to get a kilogram of beef, but uh, at the moment I can't afford it. These other days I go on too much with the vegetables, so it's expensive to buy meat or fish this side here with the salary get at the moment. The problem we have as Wagga, if I would have to pay living wage, as they say, uh, today, which can vary between 120 to 150 dollars a month, and I would have to pay today, I can close down the business. So I would love to pay a living wage, but with the margins we have as, as Wagrai and uh, the turnovers we make, it's just simply not uh, possible. Social responsibility was and is as important as the business to us. For our employees, there are many additional benefits beyond pay. For example, free lunch. There are many social, cultural and leisure activities for employees, their children and the local community. 2008 opened our Wagagai Health Center. Almost 50 employees are taking care of about 100 patients every day. Equipped, for example, with a laboratory, theater, pharmacy, maternity center, and since recently, a dental unit. The clinic offers a complete health service. There's many things we do uh, on the social side, but we would love to do more. And that is what, yeah, where the relationship with fair trade is now uh, developed over the last year. It's becoming stronger and stronger. Uh, I think fair trade uh, up to now has especially focused on social sides. So they are giving the workers a fair trade premium, they call it, which is great. Uh, the workers are already getting this fair trade premium and are using it to their need and they can choose themselves how to spend this uh, money on their own social projects. But if you ask a worker uh, what would you really like, it's very simple, they would like to have more money. The dream we had as Wagai and Selecta of paying our workers this living wage three or four times more is coming closer. Selecta already has made the first step. They are willing to increase this premium from the one cent to Wagai to five cents. So this year already in 2017, we've agreed that for all the Ponsettias sold, fair trade, they're going to pass on the full premium of five cent by one very, very small step which Selecta has taken. Instead of passing one cent, they are passing five cents to uh, Wagai. We are 100% passing this premium to the workers. We are paying for all the costs for fair trade auditing. Selecta is paying their side of the auditing process. The only way this can work is that we go into volumes, big volumes, and that we sell 50% or even 100% of our cuttings fair trade. But in the end, it's you, the consumer, who decides. You have to buy fair trade, and it's up to us to make sure that the 
final end worker, the one down at the chain, is going to get this living wage. Because as long as they get a living wage and you buy as consumer fair trade, we will then be able to change the world. And we can only do it together and we need those volumes. Our objective, long term, is to be able to sell more products as fair trade products so that that customer can ultimately also make the decision. How are the employees in Africa paid? Our dream will come true when you as a consumer participate. The more you buy, the better. So we can pass 100% to our workers in Uganda to at least double their wages.